And it's not just small businesses that need your help, but also local charities. We know tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, and it is meant to encourage charitable donations during the holiday. But before you give any money away, experts say beware of scammers. Joseph Ojo shares advice from the Better Business Bureau on how to make sure a charity is legitimate. The Generosity Movement Giving Tuesday started back in 2012, encouraging us to help out a neighbor or stranger by giving some of what we have to help those who are in need. According to Giving USA, in 2019, Americans, foundations, and corporations gave nearly $450 billion to charities last year, placing it among the highest years for charitable giving. But this year, in the midst of a global pandemic, Angie Barnett with the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland says, it is important that you do your homework on any nonprofit before you give. Scammers are going to fish for your bank information through social media, text, or on the phone. So Barnett recommends looking up the name of the organization that you plan to donate and see if they are registered on the IRS website. Look at the organization's website and see if they are transparent in their mission statement about what they do Look to see if the organization has published their annual tax reports. And lastly, if an organization is rushing you to donate, that is a red flag that the organization may not be legit. We are emotional and we want to connect. Scammers know that. So they create websites, they create text exchanges, email exchanges to establish that relationship of trust so that you are giving. So they capitalize on the opportunity just, you know, time and time again. The Better Business Bureau says also when you are donating, use a credit card. So if it turns out to be a scam, that you can dispute the charges with your credit card company. For more advice on how to not fall victim to one of these scams, head to our website, foxbaltimore.com. Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News.